Okay, in this video, I'm going to continue on with exercise 3a of the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics. We're on page number 73, and the question is number 20. Now, this question is actually quite simple. I know it's starred, which means it should be difficult, but this leads directly on from question 18, where we proved the formula for the maximum range, s sub x, and the maximum, uh, the maximum height, s sub y. Just a point to note, of course, that the book will say that minus g is equal to 9.81, or as I say, g is equal to minus 9.81. They're the same thing, just written differently. And for that reason, of course, and for that reason, I have an, a negative sign here in front of both of these. So the other thing to know is that sine 2 alpha is equal to 2 sine alpha cosine alpha. So anyway, the question reads, the greatest height reached by a particle above a horizontal plane from the which it's fired is 3.6 meters. The range is 19.2 meters, find the tan at the angle in between and the uh, this initial speed u. So you might think, well how do I start this? Well, you know that you should start this by saying the greatest height. Well you know a formula for the greatest height, this. And you know the formula for the range, this. So basically in, in the question you're given that s sub x is equal to 19.2. And you're given that s sub y is equal to 3.6. Now. If you look at these, are there any quantities that are the same for both? Now, of course, g is, now, but that's a constant. So is u squared. All right. So there are a couple of ways you go about doing this. One of them is you could, you could say, get this here in terms of u squared, this here in terms of u squared, and let them equal. But either way, at some stage, you're going to have, to, you're going to have a sine 2 alpha and a sine squared alpha. So in order to be able to, uh, it would be able to play under those, you'd have to change sine 2 alpha into 2 sine alpha cosine alpha. And that will make life easier, because you, you can obviously cancel as t the sine alphas, but you can't cancel the sine 2 alpha. So let's change the, uh, the range formula up here. So that becomes 2 sine alpha cos alpha, like so. Alright, so if we're trying to find the tan, first of all tan, right, so tan is equal to uh, sine over cos. Now if you ever asked for questions, in questions for something like the tan, and you have quantities like sine and cosine, what you should do basically is divide the quantities, so that when you start crossing out all the bits and pieces, you'll get a sine on the top and a cosine on the bottom. So if you look at these two here, these two equations, which one divided by which would give you sine over cosine? I have a sine squared here, so if that's on top, this sine will cancel with it, and I'll get a sine on top and a cosine on the bottom. So what I'm going to do is divide s sub y by s sub x. That will give me a tan. Okay, so let's just go ahead and do that. So I have negative u squared sine alpha sine alpha, we'll say that sine squared, just to make it easier, over 2g, like so. Oh, 2s, what's 26? 2g. All right, and we know that that is equal to 3.6 over uh, negative u squared 2 sine alpha cos alpha over g which is equal to, uh, that's equal to, what is it, what did I say it was, 19.2? Okay, so this, actually what I'll do is use a separate color for that one. Alright, so, okay, so we're saying that this quantity here divided by this quantity here is equal to this quantity divided by this one. Alright, so of course we're able to start crossing these out. This g will go like that. The u squares will go. The sine alpha here will cancel with this sine alpha. And let's see what we've left. So we have we have the negatives also cancel, of course. So sine alpha over two over two cos alpha. So you'll have that, and of course, if you're dividing, if you're dividing by something, it's the same as multiplying by the inverse of it, or or you might have heard the phrase "turn it upside down and multiply." So it's going to be sine alpha over two 
times 1 over 2 cos alpha is equal to 3.6 over 19.6 therefore tan alpha is equal to this quantity here multiplied by 4 alright so it's 3.6 divided by 19.6 and you multiply that by 4 and you get an answer of 0 0.73 Alright, so when you inverse tan that, inverse tan that, and you get 36 degrees. Okay, now let's just let me check that there. 20, find the tan of the angle. So what did I get there? Just let me do the tan of the angle again. 0.73. Now I think the answer is supposed to be 3 quarters which is pretty much what we have. Just let me have a look here. 3.6 over 19. Oh, it's 19.2 in fact. So yes, when you put this as 19.2, you're going to get 70.75. So you're going to get equals, what's that, 3 quarters, like so, which is correct. All right, ignore that half of there. So that's the first part. And then for the second part, we're asked to find the initial, the initial velocity. So how do, the, how do we do that? Well, we do that in the following way. We know we know that tan alpha is equal to three quarters. And we know that tan alpha is equal to opposite over adjacent. So draw the triangle and use uh, Pythagoras to find this. So h squared is equal to 3 squared plus 4 squared is equal to square root 25 well h is equal to square root 25 equals 5 like so so we know that tan alpha is 3 quarters that means that sine alpha is equal to 3 fifths and cosine alpha is equal to 4 fifths like so now the next thing we need to do is use one of the formula we had at the start. So we thought we were told when we looked at the, the maximum height we had that u squared sine squared alpha over 2g we knew that was equal to 3.6 alright well actually I had a negative like that so what do we know about sine squared? We know that sine is 3, three fifths so as a result it's minus u squared times 9 over 25, that's over 2g, is equal to 3.6. Sorry, no. Like so, so turn this upside down and multiply. Like so. That's a 9 and that's a g, so you can't cancel those. So let's see what we have here. It means we have minus u squared times 9 over 25 times 1 over 2 times 1 over minus 9.81 is equal to 3.6 so u squared u squared times let's see now if we can do this in my calculator so we have 9 divided by 25 multiplied by 0.5 which is a half multiplied by 1 divided by 9.81 is equal to 0 0.01 0 0.018 is equal to 3.6 so u squared is equal to the square root of 3.6 of 0 0.018 and that's equal to 0 0.018. that's u squared therefore u is equal to u is equal to 14 alright that's correct like so and is there anything else for us to find? Uh, the maximum range okay so let's find the maximum range alright so we do the similar thing alright so we know that the range 
If you look at the formula that we had already, you're going to find out that the range uh, is equal to u squared over g is equal to 196 over 9.8 is equal to 20 meters, like so. Alright, so that, that, was, that was that. That was reasonably straightforward. Thanks for watching. Pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel.